Hey everybody, it's Aaron, and welcome back to the house of Aaron. <laughs> welcome back to the house where we talk new celebrities and hot topics. I am really excited to be with you guys this morning. Yes, it is the morning time. I usually do not film in the mornings. I film at night, but because there is so much going on out there in the world right now, I could not wait another six to 10 hours to come on here and film a video for you guys because there's just so much in my heart that I wanna get out. I'm not gonna go into details about every Everything that's been happening with this whole George Floyd case um, I did want to hit on a couple of points and of course this video is mainly going to be about Real Housewives of Atlanta star Portia Williams apparently she is pregnant okay and the interesting thing about that is that um, you know she was actually in the streets of Atlanta last night protesting okay for the arrest of all four cops that were involved in the killing of George Floyd um, so we're gonna get into that a little bit later I just my mood is just down okay my mood is just all the way down low to the flow because it's just too much going on it's like my heart is just weak right now um but we are gonna get through this okay so if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel if you haven't already and let's get straight into the video okay you guys so like i said my mood is real down it's real low but um you know i make these videos because i know it's some sort of escapism and you guys like to you know kiki we love the gossip we love all the spicy news that's been um going on in the entertainment world so i do want to get out that real housewives of atlanta tea for you guys so we are going to do that but today's topic actually coincides with everything that's been happening in the country as far as the death of george floyd um as you know police brutality has prevailed once again uh, when it comes to the killing of George Floyd in Minnesota. Um, the cop that killed him, that actually suffocated him, he was actually taken into police custody, I believe hours ago, maybe like a day ago. Um, and now we are getting information from multiple news outlets that his bail is set at 500,000, which I think is incredibly low. I'm even surprised that he has a bail because all of the rioting that's been happening in Minnesota, Atlanta, Houston, and other cities around the country are all because of the dumb racist actions of the police. And don't get me wrong, I, I love police, okay? A lot of them do protect and serve our communities. But the downfall to that is that us as American citizens are paying these police departments to serve and protect us. And time and time again, somehow they fail to do that. So it's incredibly disappointing. So the fact that he even has bail is wild to me. Um, last night I was actually at work. Okay, so I work in downtown Atlanta. Technically it's in Midtown, but it's really close to downtown. Like I'm about five minutes from World of Coke, Georgia Aquarium, CNN Center and all of that stuff. So I was at work last night. I work overnight and I was there for about an hour and a half, almost two hours. Couldn't even get to the two hour mark because we were sent home because that's when the looting started, okay? They had been protesting yesterday for about seven, eight hours. And then all of a sudden, fires, violence, looting. Um, they went to Lenox Mall. And when I tell you there was a video, I'll put up a video um, right here of them at Lenox Mall just tearing it up, okay? They went to the shops at Buckhead, tore Dior, okay, up, okay? They finally gonna get some Dior from the Steor because honey, they tore Dior all the way down. Um, they went to downtown Peachtree Center, tore CVS up, Walgreens. I mean, they really did a lot of destruction in the city. I don't agree with all of that, but you know, I cannot tell people how to express their anger and their frustration. Because at the end of the day, all of this is happening because of the lack of empathy that this country has for black lives and black humanity, okay? Humanity in general, okay? In this country, we, you know, put economics and money and goods and materials over human lives and it's disgusting okay we've seen it when it comes to the corona virus pandemic they want to open up the country so bad not because they want people to you know go back to work and have freedoms and live a normal life they don't want the economy to tank okay we live in a country that cares about money over black lives and it is what it is and that's why the country is in shambles and being burnt down as we speak. So with that being said, I did want to bring up Miss Portia Williams from the Royal Housewives of Atlanta, okay? I know you guys came here for this. Yeah, so Portia is apparently pregnant. Tasha K broke this 
last night. Uh, Portia is pregnant by her fiance, Dennis McKinley. Tasha K also tries to explain that Portia and Dennis are going to break up sometime during season 13. I don't know how true that is. Um, but we'll see how everything plays out once the season actually starts filming. So far, like I broke last um, night, none of the ladies have their contracts. So we don't even know if Portia is coming back. We don't know if Candy, Nene, Kenya, or any of them. I know Team Z said that Yavano was coming back, but girl, like really, really, do we really believe that? I don't know. But um, yeah, so Tasha K broke last night that Portia Williams is pregnant. Now, if this news is true, I am ecstatic. Okay, I am super freaking happy um, because Portia is really building up a little family, the family that she's always wanted. And I just think that it is so sweet. It's so precious. And I love when, you know, black families can stick and stay together and procreate. I absolutely adore it. The interesting thing about all of this, though, is that Portia Williams was actually, um, you know, out in the streets last night. She was protesting. Um, and I just thought it was the cutest thing. Um, and I really commend her and I thank her for her dedication to the community, to the cause, uh, because she was the only housewife that I saw that was out there really taking a stand, using her platform, using her voice, and actually being with the people. Like, it's one thing to post on Instagram, but it's another thing to physically be with the people that are hurting, okay? Stand side and side with the community that's, you know, pouring their hearts out and asking for these people to stop killing black lives, okay? Uh, check this video out. With everything that's going on today, I'm just like anybody else. I may be down, but I am here to be a voice for the voiceless. Yes. What is going on in black America is not okay. We are not okay. We just want to live. And I am out here today to make sure that everybody understands that Black Lives Matter. We want justice for George Ford Floyd's family. I know one cop has been arrested. We would like the other cops to be arrested and charged with murder. And we are going to protest until it is done. So yeah, Portia was seen, I think it was 11 Alive News or some news outlet. I don't even know what it was, uh, but she was out there speaking you know it just reminded me that she is the granddaughter of activist Hosea Williams so shout out to Portia for doing that but she was out there walking and protesting y'all it was hot outside it was humid it was hot in Atlanta honey um all while pregnant okay allegedly she's allegedly pregnant I forgot to say that in the beginning shout out to our girl Portia who is allegedly pregnant if it is true congratulations girl we can't wait to see how everything unfolds uh during season 13 and also shout out to Tasha K I guess for breaking that story, if it is true, because with Tasha K, you never know. Uh, what's interesting is that Tasha K broke the Kylie Jenner story about Kylie really not being a billionaire. And at first I was like, okay, girl, you're just hating on the Kardashians, whatever. But Forbes came out and said, Kylie, girl, your billionaire status has been snatched, honey. Okay, so Tasha K was right on that. So I am leaning towards believing that Portia is pregnant. But I want to know what you guys think about all of this. How do you feel about what's going on in the country? I mean, do you understand the violence that's going on? How do you feel about what Trump is saying on Twitter? Um, it's really just so much to dissect. And how are we feeling about Miss Portia possibly being pregnant, okay? And out there in the streets protesting. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. This video was really short. Um, I didn't want to bore you guys with all of my political analysis and my race talk and all of that stuff because that's not what this channel is about but i think sometimes you just have to stop drop and roll okay you have to stop what you're doing and address um these things because honestly i wasn't going to address it i don't want to address um things like this on this channel but i think it would be socially irresponsible for me not to recognize um what's going on as a black american in this country it's sad it is really really sad so let me know what you guys think i hope you guys are out there staying safe um and i just want to let you guys know that i love every single one of you all right so if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel if you haven't already and um i'll see you guys tomorrow or later on today i don't know um don't forget to create a great day bye